Captain America. Hello, fellow filmsters. It is I, Movie Man Menzel, and today I will be joined by American Man Menzel to review Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Now, before we get into the actual review, let me tell you a little bit about the plot of this film. It does take place shortly after the events of the Avengers, and Steve Rogers is having a little bit of a hard time adapting to modern day life. He's not really sure if he likes it. He doesn't know what to do in terms of dating. He's not sure if he likes the music. You know, that typical type of stuff, considering the fact that he was born and raised in the 40s and then all of a sudden got wiped here to the future. So, that's understandable, but what the, the heart and soul of this movie is when Nick Fury sends him on a mission. And he sends him on a mission, and there's like this double mission going on where he sends, you know, Captain America, and then he also sends Black Widow. Black Widow's there to get some information on a flash drive, and then all of a sudden... Captain America starts questioning things, and it turns out that S.H.I.E.L.D. may or may not be compromised. And that's kind of like how the movie unfolds. And there's a new hero in this film, the Falcon. There's a new villain, the Winter Soldier. And that's where the fun begins. So, American Man Manziel, what are your initial thoughts on this movie? To be honest, I love Captain America, the Winter Soldier. First of all, it's a movie about America. It's a movie about a guy named Captain America. So, what is not to like? Honestly, think about that, ladies and gentlemen. If you are from America and you don't like Captain America, that means you're a damn terrorist. That's right. That's what I'm saying right here, right now. You heard it first right here on the We Live Film YouTube channel that if you don't like Captain America, you, sir, you, ma'am, you, child, you, baby, you are a terrorist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on there, American Man Menzel. I'm pretty sure that not liking Captain America does not make you a terrorist. I could be wrong, but we can Google search that later. Anyway, I did enjoy Captain America, the Winter Soldier. I thought that the first 20 minutes of the movie were a little slow. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bored by the first 20 minutes of this movie. But when it started picking up, when you started learning about what was going on, and when you started seeing more and more characters being introduced in this film, that's where this movie really took off. This movie has a lot of character introductions, some of which you expect, some of which you don't expect. So Marvel fans are going to be really, really excited. They're going to be sitting there in the movie theater and they're like, yes, 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 it's really happening, it's really happening. So I think a lot of people in this movie are people who you would expect to be there, and there's some that you don't expect to be there, and I think that's going to make for a really worthwhile watch for the fans. Now, the other thing I will say that I really enjoyed about the film is the new characters in terms of their performances. You have uh, Sebastian Stan as the Winter Soldier, and even though this movie kind of uses the subtitle, The Winter Soldier, he doesn't really get that much screen time. However, the little bit of screen time that he does get, there is enough character development there to kind of leave you wanting more. Now, with that also being said, you would think that this is a Captain America movie, and the main focus would be on Captain America. And while I think that Captain America does have the most screen time out of all the characters, he is the weakest link of the film. And what I mean by that is that you have uh, Nastasha, or Natasha, whatever her name is, Black Widow, you know, Scarlett Johansson's character. They ha you have her in this film, and she kind of like shines in every scene that she's in. She overshadows Captain America. And then you have Anthony Mackie as the Falcon, and he's great in this film. And then you also have um, Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. And I have to tell you, Nick Fury in this film, there's a lot more depth to his character, and I liked him a lot more in this movie than I did in The Avengers. Because I felt like he was really campy in The Avengers, but in this one, like, his storyline actually had a purpose, and it was a little bit more character development, a little bit more realness to the character. It didn't feel as campy. So, I definitely enjoyed all those aspects of the movie. How about you, American Man Manziel? What are some aspects of the film that you liked? Well, my favorite thing about Captain America, besides the fact that he's actually an American hero, I honestly have to say that I love the action in this movie. The movie that has so much action, so much intense moments, and like Captain America fighting people in an elevator, Captain America fighting someone on an airplane, 
I mean, Captain America could do it all. And he has that real American shield that saves him, that protects him. I mean, how can you not like America? How could you not like Captain America, the Winter Soldier? Honestly, ask yourself that question. Now, I will admit that I did really enjoy Captain America, the Winter Soldier. However, I will say that there were certain elements of this film that could have been improved on. Right off the bat, the first 20 minutes of this movie, as I said earlier, it kind of drags on, and you're kind of like, okay, okay, get to the point already. It's, it could have been shaven off a little bit there, and then also, there's a lot of story within this film, and I, I don't know if it's done in a way so that people will go back and watch this movie over and over again, but there's a lot to take in. Once it starts throwing things at you, there's a lot of characters, there's a lot of story arcs going on here, there's a lot of different uh, corporations, I guess you can say, incorporated in this film, so there's a lot of things going on with this movie and if you're not familiar with the comic books then I think that you know you might be a little bit lost on watching some of the events that take place in this film so really I think if you're a Marvel fan you're gonna be going into this movie and you're gonna come out of this movie and you're gonna be like oh my god I loved it this is the best you know post Avengers movie yet and you're really gonna enjoy this and and I think the reason why so many people will enjoy this movie is because there's so many twists, there's so many turns, there's so many characters, there's so many story arcs, and I think as a whole, it's, it's really, it really works for the film if you're a Marvel fan and you read the comic books, if you watch, you know, the TV show, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., if you watch this stuff, you're going to enjoy this. But if you're an average viewer, you're going to be like, oh, I like the action. If you're the ladies, you're going to say, oh, I love Chris Evans. That guy's a handsome hunk. If you're a man, you're going to be like, oh, Scarlett Johansson. And, you know, everyone else in between, they're going to be entertained by this. I'm not going to say that anyone, no one should come out of this movie saying, oh, it was bad. I'm just going to say there's going to be different levels of what people say about this movie when it ends. I think Marvel fans are going to be like, holy shit, I love this movie. Regular, you know, moviegoers are going to say that was entertaining, that was fun, but I found certain parts hard to follow, I found certain things a little bit slow at times. I'm just warning you, there are moments here, but as a whole, it is a really good film. Honestly, there's nothing really negative to say about Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Let's be honest, Captain America is awesome, he's pro-America, and on top of which, he drives a Harley Davidson, and you can't get more American than a Harley Davidson motorcycle. So honestly, I don't know what anyone's expecting. This one's even better than the first one. It has more action, it has more suspense, and more explosions. Captain America, as well as the Falcon, do anything that they want. Want to do, and that's just what America stands for. It's saying be all you can be, and that's what I am in America, and that's why Captain America gets my finest rating a 10 out of 10. Marvel fans, America fans, you are gonna love Captain America the Winter Soldier. So at the end of the day, I'm going to give Captain America the Winter Soldier an 8 out of 10. While there were certain moments where I rolled my eyes because it was so far-fetched, most of those included people jumping in and out of helicopters and certain moments, like there's an elevator scene where Captain America fights off some people. There's some moments where you're just kind of like, okay, seriously? And I, I don't know. It's just like Captain America, out of all the characters, he just has that shield and that shield is kind of like his his support, you know, like that's that's what makes him strong. And I'm kind of like, I don't know if I buy this all the time. But again, it's a comic book movie. I'm, I shouldn't be reading this much into it. It's entertaining. It's fun. Marvel fans, you're going to love this one. You're going to say this is the best one ever since the Avengers. You're going to say it's way better than Iron Man 3. You're going to say it's better than Thor The Dark World. You're going to enjoy this. And that's why I give it an 8 out of 10. So in the comment box below, let me know what has been your favorite post-Avengers movie. So which movie have you enjoyed the most out of all the uh, movies that have came out after the Avengers? I know, I know I'm in the minority here, but I still like Iron Man 3. I know everyone says it's the weakest one, but I like Iron Man 3. So let me know in the comment box below. And until next time, guys... I, as always, and along with American Man Manzel, live film. Take care. Bye.